Hello guys, this is Kathy with Kincaid Special Creations coming to you with a wonderful story that I just wanted to read. I've heard many people read it through the course of time and I just wanted to read it with as much joy in my heart <laughs> that the good Lord came and we're about to celebrate his birthday. So I'm going to read the Christmas story. It's found in both Luke and Mark. And I have a little condensed version, so we're going to just read it real quick and hope you find some enjoyment, just like I do every Christmas, in the fact that it was the greatest, absolute greatest gift of all. If you have no money to buy Christmas presents, if you have no person to buy Christmas presents for you, remember, Jesus is always there and will always be your best gift. So here we're going to read the little story. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was made first made when Serenius, I've probably pronounced that wrong, I apologize, was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one to his own city. And Joseph also went up from, from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she, was, that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in a swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for him in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angels of the Lord come unto them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them, and they were sore afraid. Sam. Sorry about that, guys. Sam's being a little noisy today. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with an angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill towards man. Nice thought. And when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all of Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and all the scribes of all the people together, he demanded of them where the Christ should be born. In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus this is written by the prophets. And thus Bethlehem in the land of Judah art not the least among the priests of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent, to the, sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when you have found him, bring him word, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. And they heard the king and they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over the young child. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they were came into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. 
And when they opened his, their treasures, they presented him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed unto their own country in another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to J Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night, and departed into Egypt, and there were, and was there until the death of Herod that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeareth in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel. For they are dead which sought the young child, child's life. And he rose, and took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archimedes did reign in Judea in the room of his father Herod, he was afraid to go hither. Notwithstanding, being warned of God in a dream, he turned aside into the parts of Galilee, and he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets, he shall be called a Nazarene. This is the beginning story of Jesus Christ um, being told by many people. Look it up in your Bible. It's Part of it's in Matthew. Part of it is in Luke. And it's a wonderful story and a beautiful thing to remember this time of the year. And this story will have further episodes as I figure them out in my journey this year. So look for another installment probably around Easter. But you all have a wonderful day, and I hope this really, really instills in you the gift that God gave us when he put Jesus in that little tiny baby's body. You all have a wonderful Christmas, and we'll see you next year. Bye-bye.